If you're lost and seeking advice, uh, hit me up on Twitter at hashtag hello Jerry and make sure the mail keeps coming and coming. The mail never ends. Well, we did keep that hashtag going, and as you can see, the segment was just too good not to bring back, so let's start with the questions. Jerry, this first one is from Sean via email. Hi, Jerry. I went on a couple dates with a girl before quarantine, and they went well, but now she's acting like we're boyfriend and girlfriend and wants to make it public. I haven't physically seen her in four months. What should I do? That's a great question. Uh, these are new times. you got to be honest with, your, with yourself and with the person that you're talking to. If you're not ready, tell her you're not re ready. And if she can't handle that, guess what? You don't have to, to see the eye roll in person. You can just, you know, hang up, what, do whatever you got to do. Uh, but honesty is always the best policy, I found out. And uh, when you're dealing with the opposite sex, I, it's 100% the right way to go. This one's from Al on Twitter. Why don't parents name their kids Jerry anymore? We need more babies with strong names like Gary, Frank, Bruce, Jerry, and others. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, the only answer that I know of is every single Jerry that I meet on the street, you know, at the ballpark, whatever it is, they're always either a junior or a senior. So there's no, you know, a guy named Stevens out there being like, hey, I think a good name for our son is going to be Jerry. These are only names that are passed down. They're old world. I think we're a few generations removed from that being a, a spark of an idea. But, hey, I'm all for it. Uh, I didn't name my two sons Jerry, but uh, please do out there. We need to keep it alive. Yeah, not a lot of Gen Z Jerry's. Um, an email from <laughs> Joey. Um, Hello, Jerry. I love to eat ice pops when it's really hot outside, but struggle to enjoy them before they melt. On one hand, I can rush through this summer delicacy, which will result in a brain freeze headache, or I can go slowly, which will result in its melting. How should I proceed with such a delicate topic? Easy. The answer is do it with friends. Divide it up. Give it a nice little cut. Hand a piece to a friend, a colleague, a coworker, a family member, and enjoy popsicles together. Brain freeze is a thing that's uh, that's worth it. If you're out there enjoying a, a nice popsicle and you get brain freeze, you know that's one of the the side effects of of true joy.